to live the spirit feel life. You live spirit feel life by developing deep hunger and appetite for God. God is not a person. God is a spirit. You must develop appetite for spiritual things. Otherwise, you are not pursuing God. If your appetite is not after the deity called a spirit, you are not a pursuer of God. You must consume God like food. You must enter into God intertwining, interwovening. You must have a high level of spirituality in your work with God. Develop hunger. Sir, you are what you eat. What you eat is what you become. When you eat God, you become Godian. When you eat the spirit, you become spiritized. Oh, yes. Nutrition affects destiny results. What are you eating? I found thy word and I ate them. For they were the joy and the rejoicing of my soul. My friend, if you want to live a spirit-filled life, you must hunger for fellowship, hunger for the word, hunger for worship, hunger for the things of God, hunger for spiritual growth. Everything spiritual you eat ferociously, voraciously, ferociously, voraciously. You must be a large eater large eater you must eat the word you must eat your pastor's books you must eat rema you must sleep with scripture and wake up with scripture yes sir as much as bible is good that we read you must also have bible on audio because the first word of god was a spoken word before it became a written word am i talking to somebody here so anytime there's an audio bible as the word is being speak it plasters your spirit Get audio Bible, transfer them to your phones. Let them be reading. Say today is the whole book of John. I want to hear. As you hear it, be sleeping hearing it. When you wake up to you read, put it again. When you wake up in the morning, hear the word. Let the word enter your spirit. Listen to the message of your pastor. I have over 10,000 messages on YouTube. When last did you go there and buy data? You can buy data to waste for anything, but you can't waste it to hear God's word. How is your hunger? Nutrition affects identity. When you eat fruits in the physical, you become fresh. The more of God you eat, the more of God you look like. Am I talking to somebody here? Are you aware that when you consume alcohol to a point, you smell alcohol? Am I right? You belt alcohol, oh, the better I run. Because you look like Biriwiri's company. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes, sir. You smell alcohol, it affects your clothes. It affects your breath. When you smoke enough, even your fingers have testimonies yes. that you are a partaker in the school of smoking. Am I communicating? Even yes. your fingers, your lips are testimony of the fact that you are an addict of smoking. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, Permanent red eyes cannot be diffused from smokers and drinkers. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, what about when you drink God enough? Hey, I can't die. You become a mobile spirit. Yes, sir. Mobile. What about when you chop God's word enough? You become buoyant. All this one, leave Bible one side. It's because... No boyas. When the word of God enters you, it affects your decisions. It affects your reactions. It affects your behavior. It affects how you treat your wife, how you treat your husband. It affects how you treat your mate and colleagues in the church, in the house, everywhere, at workplace. There is a reflection. You smell God. People walk to you and say, are you a Christian? It's not by your dressing. Are you a Christian? Because you can't, when they come near, they smell God. They don't need to be possessed. That's right, sir. Just looking at you, there is an aura. There is a glory. One thing about God is it refreshes you. You carry a glow that is not normal. It's a spiritual glow. 
it comes on you you are holy fire spiritized because you eat god if a drunkard smells drinking and smells alcohol can i ask you how much of god can people smell from you I was in Hilton Metropole in central London. Two white people walked to me and said, are you a pastor? I said, why are you asking? He said, you look it. And I was in jeans and t-shirt and they went on their knees. We want to give them our life to Christ. And I led them to Christ. Simple. In the airport. Many airports I entered. Are you a pastor? <laughs> in Pakistan, something happened. I passed. They called me back. What did you say you are? I say I am a CEO because you don't go there and say you're a pastor. I'm a CEO. You say come back. You're not a CEO. You look like a pastor. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm a CEO of Shepherd's TV. <laughs> they say as you come back, <laughs> as you enter that room, come and see scanning. Once I should remove my trust, I said, all of you will fall under anointing. He said, hey, we know you are a pastor. Who did you come to see? I said, do you know Shazad? He said, ah, Shazad. Okay, okay, okay. That's the only stubborn pastor we have here. You can go now. I said, better. My identity could not be hidden. Hey, I pray for somebody I here. Receive it, that they will see your good works. Amen. And glorify your father which is in heaven. Amen. I pray for somebody I here. Receive it, may, they, may you reflect God. Amen. May you smell God. Amen. May your generation feel God. Amen. Everywhere you turn, God, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.